Kevin, thank you so much for inviting us to conduct this interview with you today and for allowing us to film your sacred circle this evening, which I know is one of the last ones that you're doing in Bali before you embark on your world tour. I read somewhere that you had said that the Bali Spirit Festival was one of your favorite festivals to attend. Why is that and what is it that draws you back each year? Well, I think um, Bali has a special, the Bali Spirit Festival has a special significance to me. Because, um, I was just playing music in my hometown, Bang Bay, which is kind of like a region. And um, just, just holding circles there um, every week. And I did it for seven years. And at the end of the seven years, I made an album because it's just that people, it just made sense. It was, the, the circles were strong there and popular, and every week it was really good attendance and a lot of good energy. Beautiful times were created. And, and uh, once, I'd, once I'd recorded that album, it was amazing the way it came together. It was all synchronicities and incredible beauty. Um, and it turned out really nice. And then you know, the community was like, you know, we support you to, to take this out to the world. And it's like, we have this culture that we've been nurturing and it's time to share it. And so I didn't know where to go. Um, I was talking to a friend on Skype and he said to me, um, you, you should come to the Bali Spirit Festival. And I said, well, I've never, I haven't asked for anything. So I've only just gone where I was invited. But I said, that's one festival I might consider asking. He said, well, why don't you ask? Um, Rob, the, the festival organizer, he's sitting right behind me. So, so that's how I got into the Bali Spirit Festival. It was the first step out of my home in Australia. And then from there, it just, I got invitations to all over the place. And so in a way, you know, I just mean something for me. And on top of that, it's also just a, a bit of a global melting pot of yogis and different healers and teachers and like-minded people from all over the world. And I suppose my music here in Bali has really become part of that culture. And um, it's, uh, for a lot of people, it's, it's like a religion for them to keep coming. They're there every time, every chant. And I feel like Bali Spirit Festival is a way for us to take what we do here in Kubrick all of the time and then share that with the larger community of people who don't come here regularly and maybe just come for the festival. So what you experience at the festival, it's not really me. It's, it's what, what I've been you know, co-creating here in Bali. It's like we, we get to showcase what we love to do in it to a bigger audience. And so the music is something, so just a way that I found that's really effective. It, 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 can, it can connect people to themselves in the space of one or two hours. And it's a deep, profound connection that you can really experience and feel. And the emotions that come with it. The Hindus call that bhakti. It's a Sanskrit word. It really means giving and receiving heart. And um, those emotions, that's our natural state. Yeah. And it's a beautiful space to be in. 
My pleasure. Thanks a lot, Sam. We are we and we are one. We are we and we are one.